Greetings, hello, it's Dee from Be Living Tarot. Guess what? We're doing a pick a card reading on spilling the tea. We're gonna spill the tea on your person. What is going on with your person, whoever that may be, we're spilling their tea. So if you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. Pot number one, let's see what your topper is, your pick a card topper, what emoji. Pot number one, pot number one. We got helpful. All right, pot number one, pot number two, no, pot number two is energy. What card is your pile? Pot number two. You have love. And pot number three, let's see what you have. No, I don't want, I keep shuffling. Pot number three, what is your emoji? For you to choose, curious. All right, so if you are new to pick cards, this is what we do. We collect our thoughts, push them aside, and welcome in our intuition. Let our third eye guide us. So if you feel like you need to take some time to, pa to pause and reflect and really let these soak in, please do so. Timestamps are always below. So for example, if you choose pot number one, pot number one's timestamp will be in my description and in my comment section. If you choose pot number two, that will also be in my time my comments and my description box. And if you choose number three, timestamp will be there as well. So if you want to go with your hands, whatever feels warm on the screen, Yes, I know it sounds weird, but I actually do that. I'll watch pick of cards and I'm like, I don't know. I can't decide. I go with my intuition, but I also use my hands. I'm like, oh, wait, stop right there. And I'll stop at one, two, or three, or four. So sometimes us readers like to do four, four, five, six piles. All right. So this is what we have, the options that we have for you. One, two, three. So let's get into your message. What is their tea? What is going on in their neck of, neck of the woods? Number one, helpful, you're first. Okay. All right, pile number one, you chose helpful. Thank you so much for being here and pleasant, uh, blessing me with your presence. Helpful. All right, so let's see how that resonates for you. Okay, so if you chose this pile, uh, if you want to put like a cute little um, thumbs up emoji or something like that, he looks like he's, yeah, he looks like he's, you know, having fun. He looks like he's extending a hand, hands over there. So if you want to put like a little hand emoji to let me know that you chose this pile, I would love it. It will keep you in mind for future readings when I do future pick cards. See if I get more, more of your messages going forward. So if you would like to purchase any of our decks, we have 22. By the time you see this, check out our Etsy or I have them for Dirt Cheap here on my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you want to inbox me with inquiries, I would love, love, love to hear from you. We could talk about pricing and I also could verify that it's actually me. So... All right, let's begin. Let's spill their tea, pile number one. Pile number one, let's spill your person's tea. What is going on? What's going on in your person's world? What is happening? Let's say you're you know, not in contact or you're crushing on somebody. You want to know what's going on with them, what the energy is around them, what they're going through. Pile number one, pile number one. Pile number one, what's your person's tea let's spill your person's tea let's be nosy a little bit let's be a little nosy what's going on with your person pile number one think about your person while i shuffle pile number one is think about your person while i shuffle what's going on with your person pile number one what's going on with your person pile number one final card okay and one fell, one second. Okay, you have, ooh, okay, okay, okay. You have two of wands, you have the three of cups, you have the high priestess and the swords, two of swords. So we're starting with two, two of wands, we're ending with two of swords. Let me get my little thing here. Keeps me focused. All right. Okay. I'm going to pull my clarifiers. Pile number one, please help me describe the two of wands. What is the two of wands here for? Help me clarify two of wands energy. Why? What does this have to do with your person and their tea? What's happening around them? Two of wands. Two of wands. Help me describe the two of wands regarding your person's tea. What's happening to your person at this time? 
Okay. What's happening with your person? Three of Cups. Tell me the T for Three of Cups energy for your person. What's this three about? What's this three about? Pound number one. High Priestess. What is this High Priestess about for your person's T? What is this? What is this High Priestess for? And what is this Two of Swords for, pile number one, for your person, for your person, this person's T. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. All right. I'll put this there too. All right. So I will decipher. So for, for the Two of Wands, you have the Gift and the Queen of Swords. All right, so I feel this energy, basically. I mean, I had this sense, but I wanted to clarify before, you know, get myself in a pickle and then don't un I can't understand what, what's happening if I just start talking, I have to really clarify. So I think your person is, your person is making the appropriate choice for them. They're going through some kind of um, decision-making. They're really taking time to reflect right now. They have the two of swords here, two of wands here. Taking time to reflect with the Queen of Swords. So I think that they're in the middle of some kind of uh, fork in the road. Like, not sure which direction to take. Not sure who to um, entertain. Not sure who to commit to. Not sure what job to stick with. Um, however it resonates. Um, and then you have the gift here. So, surprise offering special occasion. Not sure who to offer their love to, a promise to, commitment to. So they're, yeah, I, you know, they can be with other, they can be, you know, talking with you, but also talking to somebody else. But they're going to, look, they're going to cut this out. They're going to figure out who to engage with, who to uh, spend more time on, who, to, who, who, is, sh who should be taken more seriously. Who do they feel like they can commit to long term? So that's what I feel, making decisions right now, big time. Then you have... The Three of Cups, see? Wow, it's like they're saying, okay, there are two other parties. Which one do I want to engage with? Who do I want to commit to? Like I said with this, these two, these cards right here. And then look, who who are they willing to offer their love to? Three of Cups, I have to narrow it down. That's what the Queen of Swords is about, narrowing things down. Come on, let's, 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 let's get it all. Let's get it all. Get it on paper. Let's weigh our, pro weigh our pros and cons. Let's figure out who I want to spend time with. And then you have the chariot. Then take action. Take action. Let's, I know what I want. I'm going to go for it. But they have to first think about it. You know. So if you're asking, is my person going to choose me? Is my person going to ever commit to me? Is my person ever going to look at me with lovey-dovey eyes? <laughs> you have to give this person patience because they're, they're in the middle of something. They're, I think it's like, it's kind of like, okay, do I want to say goodbye to my dating phase? Am I ready to commit? You know, they have to think about it first. They don't want to just rush, you know. So that's good that they're, you know, <sighs> taking their sweet time. Because you don't want them to be impulsive, you know, and just choose you because they're being rushed to or because that's what you're wanting them to. Or, you know, like you want them to choose you because that's what they want. And then you have... The high priestess. So, yeah, like I said, they're going within. Yep, 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 yep. They are going within. They're assessing their feelings. They're assessing their heart space. They're assessing, how you know, looking at things in in, in bigger, like the bigger picture, long term. Look, trusting their intuition. Not just going with their heart and their mind, but their intuition. You got the Knight of Cups. See, they're going to offer you, they're going to offer you a gift, my friend. Will you receive this gift? Will you? Will you receive this? All right. And you got the Five of Pentacles. So this is like, yeah, this is a hard struggle for them. This is not easy. This is a hard decision. Uh, money restored, charity, temporary employment. But it's temporary. They won't feel like this forever. And it's only hard because they probably don't want to break anybody's heart. So this is a third-party situation because you do have Three of Cups. You have choices, Two of Wands. You have the Two of Swords, choices. Um, if this is a third party situation or if it's, you know, them choosing you over their finances, choosing you over career or choosing you 
or choosing, you know, having to leave their job or leave their location to move cross country to be with you, this is a very hard decision. It's not like you're, it's hard to choose you. It's more like, oh my gosh, I have to give up my whole life in California to go to the Philippines. Ah! You know, it's a big traumatic change. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big decision. You know, a lot of things that have to move around, a lot of pieces, a lot of people they might have to say goodbye to. You know, that is very, very hard. But they would do it for you. That's the thing. Look, Chariot, they would do it for you. You know? So it's bittersweet. So anyway, the next thing here. Oh my gosh, you have another queen. Get out of here. So then you have the two of swords. Yeah, feeling indecisive, but they won't feel like that for long. You got temporary energy. It's just right now. But once they take action, it's look smooth sailing at the chariot. You got to get through those potholes, get through the troubling times, and then they're going to go in your direction. So, okay, wait. Qu queen of Wands, this is like taking action, like I said. Like I said, you got the Queen of Swords, got the Queen of Wands. That's right, my friend. So headstrong, headstrong, yeah. Their mind is set. They're going for it. And then you got the moon here. So you will see those answers. You will see the proof in the pudding. And other secrets will be revealed. If they're holding something back, they will tell you. you or you will figure this out on your own. Because you have intuition, intuition magic here with the moon. So you'll figure it out on your own. You got Queen of Swords, Queen of Cap, Thinking Caps, Queen of Wands. Yep, yep, yep. You're in control. You will find out. You got the moon here. Secrets will be revealed. Things will be cleared out. And then you have sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. Oh my gosh. So the, the same thing with the two of swords. Wow. Taking the blindfolds off, you will see. You will see things. How they're supposed to be. Two of two. What? Sunglasses? Yes, 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 yes. Two of swords. Taking the blindfold off. Taking the glasses off. Look, it says perception concealment so things yeah same thing as this unveiling secrets so things are going to be revealed to you so your person's going to let you know what's happening but you just have to let them decide on their own and they will take action and this queen of wands they love a happy life they love happy home too so let's you know scoot this aside and if anything else wants to come through we will um pluck them out and it repeats we'll pl pluck them out all right so i'm gonna um Oh yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Autumn's Delight to figure out what is happening here. Oh snap! Oh, that came out for a reason. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. So you have Obsession here. I will decipher. I will decipher. Alright, power number one. Let's spill your person's tea. Gosh. You have cranberry sauce, love, oh gosh. I had a feeling this had to do with some kind of relationship. Okay, pile number one. Tell me more about what's happening in your person's energy. Let's spill their tea. We got helpful. So I think what's happening is that they're gonna pull themselves out of this indecisive energy. They're like, I don't know what to choose, ah, they will figure it out. Okay, what's happening in your person's energy, pile number one. If you're interested in this deck, Autumn's Delight is for sale. Check out my um, information box right here. And I also have them on Etsy. Uh, I think that's it for right now. Okay. Okay. Some love support. Yep, you need love support. Because you might... I think this group is feeling like you're losing uh, hope. Not losing hope, but more like losing patience. Like, if this person is taking forever choosing me, or this person is taking forever letting, you know, unblocking me, letting me know what's what. This person is silencing me. This person is just being cold. And the Queen of Swords can be that way. She, yes, she can. She can be that way. But she's also professional, and she's meticulous, and she's on it. She's going to let you know, or he's going to let you know. They're going to cut things out like cold turkey. And then you, you're definitely going to know. Okay, so you have obsession. So this person could be obsessing in their minds. Like thinking, oh my gosh. You know, like worrying. What if what if I hurt this person? What if I do this? What if I do that? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And they're, they're probably having nine of swords energy where they're stressing out about it. So I would just say, you know, um, 
yeah, just, you know, let them come to you when they're ready. Because they're already going through it. Yeah, you know, Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords, they're, they're already going through their little mental um, turmoil. But once they make the decision, once they take action, they will let you know. And Swords, if you take the S out, you get words. Take the S out, you get words. So you, your words will be exchanged. You have Cranberry Sauce, so there is love involved. The C to the heart. Yep, there's love involved here, so they're gonna have they're, they're gonna consider your feelings in the matter in all this. Rainy days ahead, prepare for the bad weather. See that's a that's a tower moment. That's like that can be what's happening with them. Or maybe it's ha what's happening with you. Where you you know, this person might tell you something that you might not want to hear. Like they might say, Sure, I'll you know, I'll, I'm gonna choose you, but I have to take my time with X, Y, and Z first. I have to do my paperwork with my job first. And then you have to wait a, a, you know, a few months or a year. So it might be something, you know, you're, in hindsight, it's good news. But at the same time, there might be some more waiting. Or it might not be exactly the news that you're looking for. Like your person um, might give up everything for you. But they want, probably want you to give up everything too for them. It might be like something like that. You know, it's like the fine print, you know. Or they might want they might want to give everything up for you, but you they might ask you to move cross country to be with them. <laughs> so there's some kind of compromise here is what I'm feeling. Apple pie, freshly baked. After picking up the apples, it's time to bake them. So yeah, after your towel moments are have fallen, it's time to pick it up. Time to dust yourself off and get back on the chariot because there is chariot energy here. So don't cry over spilt milk if you don't get the things that you're looking for in the same exact way that you envisioned. At least. This person is making a, a choice that has to do with you and him or her. Um, okay, so what's your love support? Pile number one, what's your love support for this pile? What's the advice that you need? This is my hot fudge love and teddy bear wisdom oracles. Embrace the one you love. That can be a metaphorical thing. Like accept them. Uh, accept them. Love them unconditionally. Welcome them home. Welcome them into your world. Embrace their change. Embrace the change. Oh, that's that's interesting. Embrace the change that came out. You know, help them out in this transition. They might be going through it. Maybe that's your energy. You need to help them. What other advice do I need to give to you? Lovely pal number one. Operate from a high frequency. That's like saying don't let the, the what's it called, the spilt milk bring you down. Think about the two other cups that you have here, even though three have spilled over. And then pour into the one you love. See, yeah, yeah, two have poured over, but look at the three other cups you still have there. You work with what you got. And teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I'm saying. Like, you guys, look, help each other. This maybe you guys can help each other doing throughout this uh, change, this tower moment. So let's give examples. Um, see? Teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I was saying before. Um, helping each other throughout this this crisis or this chaos or this change. Okay, let's give scenarios. Um, with the T on your person, okay? Scenario one, this person is involved with someone else, but their relationship is dead. It has been. He, this person emotionally checked out. But on paper, Queen of Swords... On paper, the legal documents haven't been signed off. The divorce papers haven't been signed. So then you're like, what the heck? Are you ever going to take care of that so that you and I can start our lives together? That's one scenario. This person's making choices. This person's making decisions. This person's choosing you. Trust me. This person is like saying, like, hold on. Let me do things on paper the right way. Give me some time. First of all, you, you can't rush this stuff anyway. Queen of Swords, you know... That you can't rush like uh, the other people involved, the courts, the, you know, other people. So even if you're rushing your person, you can't rush the court system. You can't rush the documents being mailed. You can't, you know, like that's something that's out of your control, out of your person's control. So if you're feeling obsessive over this, leave it to the universe. Let the universe help you out. The second scenario is um, you're, you know, you're in college and you have a a job offering in uh, Colorado, but you're all the way in New York City. And they're like demanding you to hurry up and come. Come on, come on, you gotta start, you gotta start. And you're like, oh my gosh, but I have so much to tend to here. 
Queen of Swords, make your decisions. You have to do what you have to do. And I feel like if this is your energy, then, you know, this is things, these are things that you can relate to. But if it's your person, understand that your person has to take care of business before they can move ship, jump ship. Um, and the third scenario is, let's say somebody wants to have a child together, but one party is not ready. Give your person some time for them to come around. And when they're ready, they will hop on that ship and they will be on the same path as you, the same boat as you, same ship as you. Just give them some time to make these decisions to move pieces around so that it works for you both. You know, this person might just want to have their papers in order, their money in order, you, you know, their home in order. Queen of Wands, they might want to have Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy together, their minds, their home together before they can take this next step with you. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. That's what the, the T is surrounding your person or maybe you per se. So if you would like to book a person or to take this even further, I would love, love, love to check out my, um, my social media here. And I do have my readings over on Etsy, whatever you wish, whatever is easier. I would love to. Thank you so much. And I'm going to get into Panama 2. You chose a love pile. Hello, friends. Hope you're doing well. I'll put you right there. Right there, right there. Love. Alright, so let's use my tarot deck. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a wonderful day. And let's figure this out. So, what is the tea surrounding your person? What is it that they're going through? If there's silence, um, let's figure out what the energy looks like. And if they have blocked you, be able to see what's going on. If you would like to purchase any of our decks, we have 22. Check out my little information bar. And I do personal readings. Uh, via my Instagrams, uh, TikTok, and Facebook. We do invoicing, PayPal. So if you would like any of that stuff, inbox me. And I also have everything on Etsy as well. All right, so let's figure this out. What is the tea around your person? Pile number two. Pile number two, what is the tea around your person? Let's spill their tea. Pile number two, what is the tea around your person? Pile number two, think about your person while I shuffle. Six of Pentacles. What is the team around your person? Pawn number two. What is the team around your person? Pawn number two. Three of Wands. Six of Cups. And the Empress. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Pentacles. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's com confirmed Six of Pentacles, oh, Seven of Pentacles here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna um, just pull these cards real quick to clarify. Pull these cards. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? For your person's tea. <laughs> Price tag. Yeah, six with six of Pentacles with money. All right. <laughs> three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for your person's tea? Why? Three of Swords. Okay. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Put that back. Oh, you know what? That actually more pentacles. All right, there's a reason. Six of cups. Why is the six of cups here for your person's tea? What's going on with your person? Why is the six of cups here? The chariot and okay, the empress. Why is the empress here for your person? Pawn number two. Your person's tea. Nine of swords with the king of wands. And then seven of pentacles. What's going on with the seven of pentacles? Page of pen Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And the King of Swords. Wow, this is interesting. Oh my stars, you got Queen and King here. Okay. And more Pentacles. That's amazing. Okay. Figure out how this plays a role. Okay, so pound number um pound number two, you have your person. Uh, your person's energy is, you know, focusing on the finances, focusing on mastering uh, his skill, his business, his um, career, getting his life in order, or her life, sorry, 
him, her, they, um, get, really getting their life in order, getting life, their life in check. So if you're wondering why this person isn't communicating with you or um, filling your, fill, pouring into your cup, asking how you're doing, it's because they're focused. They're focused on things that require higher price tags. Like, man, my education comes first. Let me, you know, this is going to bring me stability. So let me focus on this. Um, let me focus on building my career, building my business. You know, so it's like there's a, there's a price tag here. And it's only because they want to succeed. So I wouldn't take it personally if you're not hearing from them. Or if you don't think that they're, they care enough for you. It's not that. It's that they're just super focused. So much where they're like, love? Love what? Love? Oh, that's right. I do want love at some point. But I don't know how to fit it in. And, and I think that's what, why the Two of Pentacles came out. Yeah, because they're trying, they're trying to, to juggle love and their personal life. And it's very hard to do so. But they do have a big fat heart. They do want love. Two hearts. They do. It's just, you know, they have to figure out this first. How to get this um, prioritized before they can implement and integrate something else. So, okay. Then we have um, three of wands. So it could also be that they are trying to heal from a past relationship. Do your swords here. They're trying to heal from something that that is still weighing on their heart they might be triggered by another relationship you know where they feel vulnerable they probably don't want to open their hearts again or they don't want to trust too easily or maybe they're just jaded they don't want love right now but the, you know in hindsight they do but it's like they do but they don't because they're afraid of getting hurt perhaps or rejection two of pentacles yeah it's hard to you know it's like i do but i don't i want love but i don't know if i can put myself out there or I don't know if I have time for it because I'm trying to stay focused so um I feel like what they're doing right now also is very very um rewarding so if they're putting their time and energy into their career or into improving themselves it's rewarding and that's what the that's what the goal is is to go where the energy is giving right back to them so they might be even just focusing on themselves like self-love self-care before they can heal and then move on so then you have Six of Cups here. So that's, you know, wow, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So um, I think right now they are thinking about, I think that they're thinking about someone who is near and dear to them, wanting a relationship just like that. Like maybe they're thinking about how their parents were in love once upon a time, and they were probably wishing how they can maintain that or manage that or welcome that into their life. Get the chariot. So yeah, I do, I do feel they they want some kind of um, love that they that they witnessed at a younger age, and they want to achieve and succeed in the love department because they probably I don't know maybe they just feel very jaded these days. Maybe that's why they're burying themselves in their work because you do have a lot of pentacles here. So empress here, they do have a lot of love, a lot of affection, very attentive energy here. And then you have nine of swords, but they're jaded, I'm telling you. There's something that's holding them back. Pain, you know, empress wanting a family, wanting a love, a lover that's going to reciprocate the same feelings. But at the same time, they can't, they're, they're in, in their minds, they're thinking, oh my gosh, what if, what if I fall in love and then I get, uh, heart, I get heartbroken again? So patience, yep, three of wands here unselfishness healing with time yep so they're probably waiting for that person to pour into their cup and i think that they're just in the energy of just doing that themselves they probably don't want to give anybody their love right now king of wands ruthless intolerant spiteful that's probably how they're feeling after all that is said and done they're probably feeling very very jack uh, jaded very vulnerable and closed off but they will be in right side up they won't be in reversed energy of the king of wands they're gonna feel that energy when look the chariot they're gonna feel that energy and they're gonna want to go forward so if you're looking for conversations or some kind of clarity you will get it oh my gosh yes you'll get it king of swords queen of swords this is communication queen and king coming together to talk or queen and queen king and king coming together you got a lot of kings here by the way a lot of royalty and then in the, a lot of court cards you got the page so um, you will receive contact from this person or clarity. You know, whether it's closure, let's move together. 
let's move on together or let's come together let's have find closure and move separately for right now um either or can work both ways page of pentacles and the four of pentacles this person is just focusing on the earthly part of things things that they can control because i think that the king of king of wands king of swords they want control and they're, maybe they're losing that control and they want to get it back and then you got the seven of pentacles it's like feeling very like okay i'm putting my work into something now let me see my fruits is it working and then once they get their their money situated and they have everything in control again then they'll be able to find love or at least put themselves out there to welcome in the love. All right, let's see. Anything else want to come through for you, pound number two, regarding your person? This is for your person's tea, prosperity. See, they're looking, they're building their money, my friend. They're, they're focused on their coin, their luck. They want their luck to change. And the only thing that they can control is their money, their finances, tangible stuff. Death here. Something is changing. Yep, 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 yep. Something is definitely going to end. Or they're going to feel like, I need to make a change. If I want love, I have to cut stuff away. Yeah, because the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, yep. They're going to cut stuff away that doesn't serve them. So whatever made them feel sad or whatever, they're, they're taking care of that. If they're feeling like empty, they're going to fix that because they want love. Like I said, they want love. They don't want to stay empty forever. Okay. What is your person? What's the what's your, your person's tea? Miracles. They're expecting their luck to change. I'm telling you. They're waiting for their heart to heal. <clears throat> they're full of surprises. They will they will show up when they're ready. So be be on the lookout for an instant message. Be on the lookout for some kind of a ice breaking like i don't know if this person all of a sudden popping up in you know in your news feed or popping up on your text message or you know paying you a visit at your job or something like that when you least expect it, that's when this person is going to surprise you surprise yep unstoppable look king of wands that's right that's the chariot oh snap <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about look at that school bus or the, the train or the trolley look at that unstoppable this person's gonna burst through and make a big fat stink in your life so if there's been silence not any longer my friend wonder yep wonder wondering about you thinking about you and then bottom of the deck fulfillment so you're gonna get your wish my friend you will and, and i just said that with the luck surprises oh my gosh the luck is gonna change the luck is going to change Nine of Swords, no, the Empress, the Abundance right here. Yes, 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 Six of Cups. Oh my gosh, it's reciprocal here. And then you got, what else was, pr Prosperity. That luck, 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 luck is here on your side. So you will receive answers from them. You will, you will. Just give them a little bit of space and distance and air. All right, so I'm going to bless this with um, my little Angel Messages deck. All right. This is Lovely Mystic Star Magic's uh, Angel Feather, Feather Messages deck. I'll have a link below her Etsy shop. And this is my, um, oh wait, what's that doing in there? Teddy Bear Wisdom and Hot Fudge Love, but this is also the Angel Hearts Messages deck. All right, so let's see, Angel's Messages regarding this. Look at that, looking at photos. Man, I miss this person. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is like someone who you have a con hot contact with, whether it's an ex or this is like someone from your past, a coworker, a friend, maybe somebody, you know, like a crush. You never really got to take it to the next level with this person or just a close friend. But look, this person's thinking about you. All right. You have courage. Yep, they will find the courage. And after a hard time, five, 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 they will find the, the what's it called, the, the, mo the energy within to come, come your way, to approach you your angels are letting you know of upcoming lessons and obstacles yep because the chariot is all about that trust that the transition is for the highest good see and last one fertility get out of here and intention <clears throat> wow look, look look at the synchronicities in this look at the synchronicities empress fertility they're going to look abundance they're waiting to be lucky they're waiting to be abundant in everything in order to feel fulfilled, in order to come forward to you, approach you. But right now they're in lack. They're in emptiness. 
syndrome. They can't offer you or they can't they can't produce or they can't um, promise you anything if they're feeling empty, if they're feeling lack or without. So wait to everything to feel full, fulfilled again. You did get fulfillment. You did. Wait for everything to, for the cup to fill over, fill it over, and they will come your way. Courage and intention. You are being encouraged to shine your light, put your full attention into everything you do and every life you touch. And that's what's happening. The Midas touch, just like the Empress, touching all her fruits and them blossoming. So that's what I have for you, blessing this. Your person, don't you worry, they're going through it. That has nothing to do with you. That This has nothing to do with you. You are a beautiful gem, but they're going through their own situations, their own dilemmas. And once they are, you know, over that, once they have healed, they will be able to offer you more. More than what you're probably looking for, okay? <laughs> All this abundance here. You got the luck, you got the surprises, oh my gosh. We got the price tags, incredible. All these pentacles here. All this energy, fire, desire, king, yes, yes, yes. Unstoppable, again, fire, that freaking chariot, but the fire is, is it's pushing them forward. So take care, I'll see you next time. Wait, let me see what this says, hold on. Life is what you make of it, that's what they're doing, they're making their life, yep, yep, yep. And they're rebuilding, yep, 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 they're rebuilding, that's right, that's right. They're on the way, way up, way up. Take care, I'm V, and I'll see you in the next one. Pile number three, you chose Curious. Page of Swords, we are very inquisitive. We want to know what's, what's happening to your person. Yeah, I feel you might still feel like you need more answers even after you receive the messages here. Only because there's a lot of things that... I don't know. I, I, I feel like the, this is the, the person that is just very closed off in general and... You're always going to want answers. Always. It's like no matter how many pick a cards or how many times you ask this person or how many times other people tell you about your, your person, you're still going to want answers. Maybe this person is just very closed off or they're just very hard to read. So, But we're still going to figure out the energy and we're going to see what all other pieces I can give you. So if you're new, please subscribe. If you're not, thank you for returning. If you want a personal reading or if you want any of our decks that I will be using from our shop, we have 22 and more coming. Check out my Instagram, my Facebook, my TikTok, um, and in inbox me for inquiries. And if you want to just, um, if you want to grab those decks via Etsy, I have them there and eBay as well. Whatever is your boat, whatever floats your boat, send 11 lights. And I do voice verifications too, so if you want to know that it's really me over my Instagram, uh, social media platforms, I would love, love, love to give that to you to build trust. All right, so let's dive in. Let's figure out what the tea is around your person. And also, if you want to keep in, keep in, stay in my subconscious for future readings, maybe we'll keep getting your, your messages every single time, uh, please consider leaving a comment below. You'll be forever locked in my subconscious. All right, pound number, pound number three. Lovely three friends. What's happening to your person? What's going on? Think of your person while they shuffle. What's this tea around your person? What's going on around your person? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on with your person? The person you're asking about? Let's spill their tea. Let's, let's spill their tea. What's going on with your person? Pound number three. Let's spill your person's tea. Pound number three. Wow. Jeez. Jeez Louise. All right, you got a lot of cards. Anything else fly out? No, okay. All right, you got a lot of swords, a lot of court cards. Not a lot, but no, it's not a lot. I will show you. You have the Ace of Cups. That bubbly feeling, that love. There's still spark between you and your person. There's still love. There's still feelings, emotions. They probably look at your pictures and feel triggered, feel like, oh, you know, like, oh, I like this person. So they are thinking about you. You got the Nine of Wands here. So they are, there's passion, there's chemistry, like I said, there's feelings. There's potential for you guys to turn this into something beautiful. Um, we just have to figure out what's happening. King of Swords. So this person has to, I think this person's in the middle of either making decisions. Yep, 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 because you have the Magician. Getting their life in order, getting control of their life again. 
And so they might have put their relationship with you on the back burner, not on purpose. Because they still have passion for you. And you have the King of Swords. So there's like something that, that's taking over in their minds. Like they're worrying about something, thinking about something that's really heavy on their hearts, on their minds as well. Figuring out how to put pieces together. You got the Magician. So it's kind of like they have all the pieces just scattered about. And now they have to figure out how to integrate them and make them fit in their lives. Then you have Judgment. Yeah, so they will make a good decision. They will. King of Swords, yeah, absolutely. That's a smart energy. Very intel intelligent, this person. They know how to put their ducks in a row. So they will make the right decision. Just give them a little bit of time. And then you got the Ace of Wands. Wow, so you got fire twice with the Magician. So the fire and his coin... Look at the coin in his hand. It has fire. So this person is, you know, making a decision probably um, regarding money or trying to fig figure out how it's going to work. If they had enough money, if they had enough X, Y, and Z, Ace of Wands. So, they're, yeah, they're going to take action very soon. You got Aces here, Ace of Cups, feeling that passion, that fire, that desire. And now it's here in Ace of Wands motion where it's like ready to strike any day, any day. All right, so let's give scenarios so that you can still stay on the same page with me. And then you got justice. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, the balance, the scales will be balanced. They will find what's right for them, what they have to do, what they have to, um, yep, Wheel of Fortune, Four Cups. That's what they're feeling right now, like not knowing what, decision, what direction to take, what decision to go with. Give them some time, like I said, with pile number one. Justice, yep. So um, let me... Let me figure this out. All right. The honking horn tells me to go back to justice. Okay. So, pile number... Okay, so you might want to check... No, I don't want to force anybody, but if you feel inclined to and you really feel like you have that pull, Magician says number one... And this justice honking horn tells me to go to check out pile number one for your the part first part of your message or the last part of your message um, to see if there's a missing piece. So that's what I'm gonna get, get with yeah with the honking horn and number one here for magician. Check out one if you feel inclined to. Cause um, the reason why is because justice also came out in pile number one, doing things right, doing things by the books, getting the ducks in order. Um, and you also had the Queen of Swords in pound number one as well. And this is King of Swords, so I'm getting the same energy. In pound number two, you had the Queen and the King of Swords. So, if, yeah, I would say just check out a little bit of both piles to see if you have your full message there as well. So, pile number three, what's, what's your person's tea? Tell me what your person's tea I'm going to put everything together. I just want more information. What's your person's tea? Pile number three. What's going on with your person as we speak? Okay. So curious. So yeah, that's how you're feeling. Or maybe that's how your person is at this time. Because you have the curious cat. And then you got the king of swords. So your person is in the middle of doing some research, thinking, stepping into their logic, trying to assess things, trying to figure out how the pieces are going to fit, like I said. Okay. Um, I don't know how it came out, but we're going to just wing it. All right, so then, yeah, the, ta the taking action, a lot is at stake here, where they have to be very strategic, very calculating, because they don't want to make a mistake. So the scenarios that I can think of is... Um, they want to approach you or they want to uh, revisit a connection with you. They want to stir the pot, get things spiced up again. Because, you know, Four of Cups energy, maybe that's how you're feeling. Maybe that's how they're feeling. And so they want to change the dynamic or the energy around you both. But there's something that they have to square away first. King of Swords. So documents, 
uh, other situations. It could be family situations. It can be maybe they're, you know, flirting with someone else. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that they are. I'm just saying, I'm giving examples because I don't know. This is not a personal reading. Uh, however, this fits. This is your reading, so take it how it fits for you, if it does. Um, you know, it could be that they're squaring stuff away with school or with jobs or with friends, whatever the case is. They won't feel complete. They won't feel 100% or right in their minds until they have X, Y, and Z done with. See, curious. It's, it's like, wait, hold on, I'm not done. I gotta figure this out first. And then when they tickle their fancy, they tickle their curious, curious, curiosity, then they can move forward. So, the, okay, so it can be, they want to, they're interested in a, in a career. They want to figure out how to make that career work for them. Do I have to go back to school? All right. So then they go back to school, and then they put you and them on the back burner until they get this right. And they're like, oh, okay, now I can incorporate love into my life. Now I can receive the love and pour into that person because I have this already taken care of. Um, you have spider, so this is weaving, that weaving energy like the magician. Resourcefulness, that's the magician right there. Creativity and weaving, see? So you have to make sure that the pieces fit together perfectly before they incorporate and int integrate other people or other problems or other burdens or other responsibilities. Not saying that you are a burden, I'm saying in general. It could be, you know, you, love, but then, oh my gosh, now I have to spend so much money trying to commute to see you or tr spend money on traveling to be able to be in the same st state as you. Ah, so that could feel like a burden, you know. Two of Cups, see, look, they want, they want love with you. They do. This is amazing. They want justice, look, Two of Cups scales here they want justice they want balance with you how can they oh sorry <laughs> how can they achieve that balance they can't just grab grab everything and then put it in the pot and expect to make a cake out of it it's not going to work like that with them but you do have look wheel of fortune and what does it say in the bottom inquisitor isn't that what i said with this you're being very inquisitive they're like wait a minute let me research before i can make this happen it's kind of like a, uh it's like you know how like yeah wheel of fortune they want to get lucky they want to make sure that this works that the, the fortune the wheel turns and doesn't get stuck in the muck it's kind of like how you have like a person right and they're like no i'm not ready to have kids i want to save ten ten uh hundred thousand more dollars and the other person's like, you're never going to be able to save that much money. Well, I guess we'll never have kids because we're never going to have $100,000 for a kid. And so this person's like, wait, but let me figure it out first. Let me see if it's going to work. Let me see if I can save at least half of that. <laughs> so this person wants to get their ducks in a row first. So they're weaving, but they're weaving it. They're like trying to make it work. They find their groove. You got the Knight of Swords, my friend. That Knight of Swords with the King of Swords. They're, 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 they're strategizing. And then they're going to take action with no questions asked. But they have to feel confident first. Curious Cat with the Knight of Swords. That's amazing. I, I, I'm surprised I don't see a Page of Swords here. Probably because they passed that page already. They're already, they're already in the nick of it. They already know what they need. They already know what pieces they need to their puzzle. Because they're the king. The king and the knight. No more page. Then you got the Knight of Pentacles. So they're going to look. They're going to achieve that luck. They're going to figure out what works for them. And how they inc can incorporate you into their lives how they can incorporate a, a better job into their lives. And then you got the flag stick here. Wow, marking a location. That's marking a spot, getting situated, getting prepared. Position, hitting the shot, see? Once they see the target, they're gonna go for it. Knight of Swords, temperance and moderation. I just said that with the scales. Yep, more majors are coming up here. Wheel of Fortune, that magician. You got the temperance, the judgment. A lot of major life events here. So this is not something small. This is major. And this person can't just take the step and just go for it. They have to make sure it works. And then it's going to it's gonna go for it. It's going to take action. It's going to work out in their favor. They're going to get lucky that Wheel of Fortune came out. And it's going to be something strong and foundational. It's very stable. So you might want to... Uh, give this person more benefit of the doubt or more credit or more patience, more time. Because once they deliver, they're going to deliver a full package. It's not going to be half-assed package with missing pieces. When they bring it to you, it's going to be a complete circle. So they can't just put a circle together just like that. They have to really formulate it, put those ingredients together. So in other words, 
let's say you want this person to bring you a, re a wedding ring and you've been waiting forever. They don't want to just give you a, 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 a cubic zirconia. I mean, not knocking anybody who, you know, who likes that stuff. But if you're expecting a diamond ring or an amethyst ring or a ruby and they can only afford a cubic zirconia, are you going to push them and force them and rush them? So that you can get just your half-assed results or you want to give them some time to formulate their money and get their money together to be able to afford you or provide for you what you're wanting. You know, so just give them some time. Um, yeah, justice. You'll get what you're wanting, my friend. You will. And so will they. It's the reciprocal. Two of cups. All right, so let me see what else I can give you. Lovely, lovely friends. Okay, I'm going to use my, my Lavender Love Jeans. This is for sale on my Etsy shop if you're interested. And I also have it here in my, my box here if you want if you want to uh, inbox me with inquiries. I have them for dirt cheap via my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, with PayPal. All right. I use PayPal invoices. Free USA shipping. All right. What's the tea? What's the tea for you? What can you look forward to, too? What can you look forward to with this person going forward once they get their ducks in a row and they're responsible? The Nine of Pentacles always are. They're slow going, they're responsible, but they're solid and they deliver. Pile number three. Road trip, see, they deliver. I'm telling you, that chariot coming on through, coming on their horse and buggy and their awesome night rider car. You got the Valentine, see, they're offering you love. see what this ugh. okay this came out okay okay what else can you expect what can you look forward to with this person hold on this card came out what can you expect with your person going forward this tea this person that we spend the tea on okay let's figure this out friends lavender love dreams perfect for everyday readings and love readings real dream interpretations Road trip, a metaphorical passage in life. So that's what I'm saying. Like this person, when they when they deliver, they deliver. And not just one little uh, daisy. They give you roses with money and chocolates. This person delivers. They go all in or all out, however you want to call it. <laughs> all right, the next one is Valentine. A new relationship that is going well. See? I'm telling you, my friend, this person delivers. This person goes all in when they are in love. Love potion. Love, attraction, and arousal. See? This is what I'm saying. The whole, the real deal. The whole enchilada. Not just parts of it. Not to just a, a slice. It's the whole pie. Like that wheel of fortune. Rain boots. Rain boots. Focus, preparation, and hard work. See? That's what I'm saying. They can't just be like, here, here's a slice. No, they're like, hold on. Let me get my stuff together. Give me a year. And then they deliver the whole pie. See? Hard work, dedication, patience, time. Just like the moderation card, temperance. Love letter. See? You will receive your news. You will receive your words. You will receive your validation, your clarification. The six of cups, that reciprocal love, my friend. Receiving good news. Yes, yes, yes. And it says missing someone far away. Maybe that's how you're feeling now. You feel like they're so distant. Vampire. Being drained of your time and energy. Fears from the past that haunt you. Maybe that's how you're feeling. Like you're, you're, you're giving so much time, you're, so much energy, or your person is doing so much to make this happen between you both, and they're feeling drained. And they can't pour it in your cup if they're empty. So they have to fill their own cup first. So that's what I have for you, blessing this. This person is the real deal, and they have good intentions for you. And you even got the love here. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me! Love. Love. You got love letter. Love potion. Love. You got valentine. You got what? You got you got the cups here, which is like the look at that. That's like two of cups. Hold on, hold on. You got wheel of fortune. That good luck on your side. You got oh my gosh. Hold on, I saw another one. There was another one. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, two of cups. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you, this person look in affinity. This person's in what's it called? Uh, divine timing. This person's supposed to be in your life. Infinite, infinite love all this cup action all this liquid being exchanged love letter all this love my friend 
Okay, so you have nothing to worry about, my friend. Nine of Pentacles. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming strong. They're going to arrive when it's time. When it's time, the chariot will arrive. Thank you for watching. You have a lovely day. Thank you so much for your energy exchange, and I hope that this finds you well. Let me know if it resonates in the comments.